Hello everyone, I'm Liu Shuang. My research field is affective computing and emotional brain computer interface. It's a great honor to share the latest research results of my team here. Depression recognition using a proposed speech chain model, fusing speech production and perception filters. My presentation will be divided into the following four sections. First, I would like to introduce the research background. Depression is one of the common and serial psychological disorders characterized by persistent pessimism, cognitive decline, and social dysfunction. According to the World Health Organization, an estimated 3.8% of the population suffers from depression, which increases the burden of diagnosis. In addition, existing clinical diagnoses mostly rely on subjective scales with low efficiency and high subjectivity. Therefore, providing an effective, objective, and convenient method as a complement to improve current diagnostic capabilities is of vital significance. Existing studies have indicated that depression affects cognitive function and muscular coordination, which in turn affects the physiological process of pronunciation, and patients are often characterized by speaking less, low volume, and hesitation. Therefore, audio streams contain depression-related information that can be used for classification. More importantly, the contact-free audio collecting process is friendly to patients. Recently, several studies have explored audio-based depression recognition, mainly divided into two aspects. The first is static feature recognition, which is to directly extract the features describing the whole speech for recognition. But the lack of temporal feature extraction usually leads to the neglect of speech dynamic features. The second is dynamic feature recognition, which extracts spatial features through segmentation and stretching for recognition, but it's difficult to process variable length speech sequences, resulting in information distortion. To solve these problems, we propose a novel machine speech chain model for depression recognition, MSCDR, that can capture text independent depressive speech representation to improve recognition performance. Next part is the method and data sets. The figure shows the model MSCDR proposed in this study. First, MSCDR uses dynamic speech chain feature for the first time to solve the problem of static feature lacking sequences information. Then, a segmentation and fusion method is proposed to extract intro and inter segment features from variable length speech without cropping and redundancy, which solves the problems of inconsistent formant of variable length speech sequence. Finally, we use a deep neural network to improve the fitting ability of the model. This is the speech chain model. It's worth noting that the information rate contained in the transmitted spoken message is significantly higher than the base information rate of the text message itself. Therefore, the phonetic difference of depressed patients could be reflected objectively in the process of speech production and generation, 
rather than the、uh, separation process used in previous studies. Therefore, this work uses LPC to model the speech production process and MFCC to model the speech perception process. The combination covers the closed loop speech chain complementarily and extracts depression-related information effectively. This is the proposed neural network model used in MSCDR. First, for the intro segment feature extraction, a one-dimensional CNN is established to extract high-level depression-related features from the segments. Since the axes of the LPC and MFCC represent different magnitudes and correspond to time and frequency dimensions with completely different meanings, the convolution of all frequency by the one-dimensional CNN increases the model's sensitivity to the frequency and domain. Then, for intersegment features extraction, all of the features. From each subject are supplied from the segment level to the personal level at the original time domain order, and a one-layer LSTM is built to capture short and long-term temporal correlation features between the segments at the personal level. Two dense layers are included to reduce the dimensionality and conclude the classification. And this work uses two public datasets for testing. DAIC contains 189 audio data in English, and MODMA contains 52 people's audio data in Chinese. We divide it into the datasets. In the same way as in other studies. So let us see the result in discussion. The left figure shows the confusion matrix generated on the test sets of DAIC and MODMA, and the accuracy of the proposed MS CDR on DAIC, WOZ, and MODMA was. Uh, the 0.77 and 0.86 respectively, and the average F1 score was 0.75 and 0.86 respectively. To further verify the improvement of the machine speech chain, we compared the MSCDR with two single models under the same conditions, as shown in right table. The generation model extracted the depression-related features only from the speech generation process, and the perception model extracted them only from the speech perception process. The result indicates that the MSCDR obtains good generalization ability and superiority, and there was an improvement from using the MSCDR. Compared to the single models, which also proves to some extent that the vocal tract of depressed patients has changed, which is consistent with the、uh, hypothesis in previous studies. Then we compared the proposed MSCDR with existing methods. Compared to existing methods. The proposed MSCDR integrates the advantages of speech chain and neural network and further improves classification performance effectively, which is more suitable for text-independent depression recognition. The excellent results for the English dataset DAIC, WOZ, and Chinese dataset. MODMA demonstrate meet the requirements of audio-based depression diagnosis, namely to classify pronunciation features regardless of the language content or speech habits. The last part is the conclusion.
In this study, we proposed a MSCDR that extracted the phonetic features from the speech perception and production processes complementarily for automatic depression recognition. And the excellent classification results on two datasets with different paradigms and languages prove the good generalization ability and superiority of proposed MSCDR. We believe this study suggests that the changes of the vocal